Jones. Well, it's showdown day for the badly damaged company, and its CEO has a lot to account for. He will speak in Japanese to Congress through a translator, and according to his prepared remarks, he will admit the company grew too fast, now paying the price for putting growth and profits ahead of quality and safety. As the grandson of the Toyota founder, Akio Toyota is often called the Prince, a prince who has spent much of this year bowing in apology again and again for his company's safety defects. The question today is, will he bow before Congress and how low? The deeper you bow, the greater the respect you show, which in uh, Bushido samurai days would mean that uh, you were offering your head. At Tuesday's congressional hearing, Toyota's top U.S. official got an earful from members of Congress and survivors of runaway Toyota accident. I put the car into all available gears, including neutral, but then I put it in reverse and it remains in reverse as the car speeds to over 100 miles per hour down the interstate. I called my husband on the Bluetooth phone system. I knew I'm sorry. I knew he could not help me, but I wanted to hear his voice one more time. And today, I must say, shame on you, Toyota, for being so greedy. Among the witnesses today is Kevin Haggerty of New Jersey, who says Toyota has yet to explain to him why his Avalon went suddenly out of control. It just took off. So I knew I needed to control a car. It started accelerating, started going faster and faster. Shifting in and out of neutral, Haggerty was able to head to the local Toyota dealer so they could see for themselves what was going on. I pulled up right to here. The brakes were smoking and the tires were smoking. Haggerty says he believes his car had an electronic glitch, but the Toyota tried to blame the problem on a sticky gas pedal. There have been thousands of complaints like Haggerty, and the Secretary of Transportation now says a new and full investigation is warranted. We will not rest until we fi finally find out if electronics are a part of this problem. Toyota officials on Tuesday acknowledged for the first time that there could be an elect problem, electronic problem, telling Congress that with all the recalls for floor mats and sticky gas pedals, they still have not totally fixed the problem of its runaway cars.